So now let's uh, do one more, and we'll uh, we'll wrap that up. So I'm going back to 3D. Again, I spin around. You can see that model. Now what we're in is wireframe, so it may look a little odd. I'll change it back to hidden line just for the moment. There it is. Go back to to wireframe. Now if we are working on a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of things going around in the model, and it's hard to see what you're working on, actually grab the object or objects. Right? I'm just going to grab two objects: that object and a whole control key down this object. Use the little ZZ Top sunglasses. These will isolate the items in that view. Now when I hit isolate elements, you'll notice that just those two elements are in here. Now if I'm going to use this view, come over here, give it a name, save it, save as, okay, actually, so I'm just going to rename the view, rename it, and give it something different. Let's say uh, iso, I, um, isolate, uh, maybe this is for our events. Okay, isolate for the vents. We hit OK. Now, at this point, I can tell Revit to, when I click on the little ZZ Top sunglasses, apply hide isolate. So now, you'll notice that in this view, it just isolates the vents. So all I'm working on are those items. So it's a good little trick to know about when you're actually um, setting up and working on complex ar areas. You could isolate different components. So you're working on little subsets, which makes it easy. I'm going to hit undo on that, hit undo again, uh, and then once we step back out of here, we're back. But just wanted to bring that to your attention, a good little tool. We'll do one more sweep and we'll call it a day. All right, here we go. Back up top, home. Drop that down, component, model in place. Again, it's going to ask what it is, walls, hit OK. OK. And then we're going to go through the basic process again. It's a sweep. Yep. Now, if it's a sweep, we're going to say pick path. And I roll over it and I can pick that path. And you'll see the purple line popping up. So we can roll it on around like so. Now that shape will follow that path and we probably, if we wanted to, we might be able to set a couple of them up but we're not going to go there. Happy with the path, drop in the piece, drop that down, verify its rotation, negative 90, okay. Put a zero in there, make it nice, negative 90, okay. Um, complete the sweep. Now, we, if we want to change the material of these items, select on the item before you hit finish. Uh, you'll notice in here, material by category. We can come in here, pick something. Let's say it's glass. We hit OK. And then we hit finish the model. So there she is. Uh, that is how to create a complex sweep in Revit. Let's go back to uh, hidden line or even uh, shaded with edges. And you'll see how we've got our objects placed in there. So a uh, nice little tool. Uh, it takes a few steps, but uh, there you go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the web at freerevittraining.com.